I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polynomials. In this video, we will discuss a very special case where two quadratic functions will have a common root. Based on that, we have two related questions. Question number one here is, the equation x square plus kx plus 4 equals to 0 and x square plus 4x plus k equals to 0, where k is not equal to 4, have a common root. Find the value of k. This restriction makes sense. If k is 4, then both are same equations, right? Question number 2. Now, this is a general equation. So, what we have done is we have made a general case. What says if the equation x square plus ax plus b equals to 0 and x square plus bx, so we put b here and a there, equals to 0, where a and b are not same, has only one common root. So these two equations have one common root. Find the value of a plus b. So that is the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now when we say that they have only one common root, it means what? It means that root will satisfy both the equations. So let common root be x equals to alpha, right? So we'll just use this value alpha for x. So both the equations will be satisfied with this value. And therefore, we have our equations as alpha square plus a alpha plus b equals to 0. And the second one will become alpha square plus b alpha plus a equals to 0. So we will get these two equations, correct? Equation 1 and equation 2. Now see what happens when we take away one from the other. So if we subtract one from the other, alpha square cancel, we get a minus b times alpha, right? Let me write a minus b times alpha plus we have here b minus a equals to 0. However, we can always take a minus b common, right? So, so we can write this as a minus b. Here we get alpha. This may become minus, right? Minus 1 equals to 0. Clear? So we have a factored form. We are saying that a minus b times alpha minus 1 equals to 0. Now that clearly implies that alpha equals to 1 since a is not equal to b, right? So that is the condition given to us, correct? So we know alpha is not equal to 1. Now since alpha is 1, I'm going to substitute 1 in my equation 1, right? So we'll sub alpha equals to 1 in equation 1. So if we do that, we get 1 plus a times 1 is a plus b equals to 0. Or the condition is that a plus b it should be equal to minus 1. So option c is the right option. Clear? So that becomes the most important condition for such cases. So if you have a multiple choice question like this, easily you know their sum is minus 1. Now, if you look into the question and apply this strategy, so, so apply strategy. So strategy says that k plus 4 should be minus 1, right? So strategy says that k plus 4 should be minus 1 or k will be minus 1 minus 4, that is minus 5. And so option B is the correct option. Do you see that? So within few seconds you can answer such a question well otherwise what you need to do is you have to follow the same process right you can again say that alpha square plus k alpha plus 4 equals to 0 here you get alpha square plus 4 alpha plus k equals to 0 and when you take away when you take away you get uh, k minus 4 times alpha plus 4 minus k equals to 0 and you can always factor k minus 4 
and you get alpha minus 1 equals to 0. So since alpha is equal to 1, right, since alpha is equal to 1, you can substitute this value here in this equation and you get 1 plus k plus 4 equals to 0 or k equals to minus 5, right? So even if you don't remember the strategy which we got from here, you can straight away follow the standard method which we did to find the derivation, right, and get your answer. So I hope that really helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.